again, when we come to this picture of XHSP AVU, we have had the circuit screen 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This area has become blurred again. We saw the pictures of the vertebral bones, both lower and below, but not exactly localizing at T11 above. This all the same thing has happened here. Blending of the lower thoracic spinal pictures. Perhaps a more seasoned in the orthopedic surgeon would have discerned it better. These are the exercises. ECG was shown with the normal image that time. Treatment for the diabetic ketosis was to use soft normal sign to bring down the hypernatremia, regular insulin and she made a recovery. Post treatment, pressure was 104, sodium came down to 145, chloride 110, still high, pegabate was 216, perhaps partial correction of the stenosis. Then year 2018, no demonstrable lower limb weakness. All of these times she has been in the hospital under various care of various physicians, sometimes under me, sometimes at the GMs and sometimes at other physicians. Between these two periods, 27, 9, 18 to 13, 10, he had difficulty in walking just four to five days, an injury to the front aspect to the left at Mato. Now, there was a slight findings in the left floor. They interpreted as abscess and then treated it. Same pictures. Now, she developed a facet paralysis of both lower limbs. Movement around the hip, knee, and ankle are absent. Plantar reflex not elicited. All happened within four to five days. Paraplegia, motor level L1 segment, sensory level T12 segment, reflex level T10 segment. Hemoglobin has dropped down to 8.2. Perhaps the in between hemoglobin rise was not really due to the hemoglobin rise, but due to the hemo concentration. He continues to be anemic. The bleeding permit is normal, you can share you there. Again, she is like acidotic. Repeat pictures of the treatment of high fluids, scientific treatment. Urine can be species low. Total air binding capacity was within normal limits. Ferritin also was slightly high. Now, these are the pictures taken from that time. Destruction. Destruction. D11, D12. MRI dorsal of spine showed altered nano signal intensity, compression collapse of D11, D12. Paravertebral epidural soft tissue components abscesses, focal angular kyphosis again, D11, D12. components indicating abscesses. Dorsal lumbar spine of the MRI showed L4 vertebral altered skin intensity with partial bed compression and delivery. Diagnosis, right sore abscess extending from D12 to L2 levels. Right posterior paraspinal external subcutaneous abscess extending from D10 to D12. All developed within the eyes of the medical personnel that have been attending on that all these times. Again, the last parasitic stresses L3, L5. That means both sides of the vertebral spine there has been a spread of the abscesses. Cervical screening showed a spondylosis consistent with the age. And these are some of the pictures. I will go to some more clarified, clarity pictures. Now, parasitic shadows are there. I come to the more. <coughs> See here. And also shadow in front. All this happened and the eyes of the various physicians have been treating them.
first few spinal support is bone graft. First few spinal support with the bone graft. With the bone graft, there. this is a central patient. These are the first operating patients. As per Jane Espert, MTB, Macrobacterium tuberculosis and Nectar, Pap smear, Pus smear, Posting for AAP, by acid first aid. Both by acid first aid, conventional and Jane Espert, we got the, proved the diagnosis of Macrobacterium tuberculosis infection. Of course, uh, by the time, the metabolic parameters have become normal. For the post-operative treatment method is all glutamicin. We start an antibiotic chemotherapy, because she has got such extensive disease, I started on six drugs. I need to refer to the Thamidophis and Estratomyces and Leoblox. At the time of my closing this presentation, preparation of the study, there's no improvement in the neurological status on this stage. Now, the, what prompted me to present the case, especially in the Chess Society and other areas, is this. She has been continuously exposing herself to the medical fraternity at very higher centers, Rajiv Gandhi, Oman Dura, Public Health Center, and private consultants. Still, because of the shadowing of the X rays and the D12, D11 being in the border of the various X rays, we have not thought at that time to go in for MRI. Perhaps we have had a more clarity, clarity of pictures have gone for MRI and gone for antibiotic treatment or fixation earlier and evacuation of the pus, so she will have a better recovery. Also, a psychiatric illness of uh, depression on serotonin-reaptic inhibitors delayed her complaining in things. Anyway, this is a lesson to be alert with tuberculosis. Has to be alert with tuberculosis, whatever specialty or practicing, tuberculosis. Sent for a gene expert, one thing, and also for lipid culture, where two weeks the results are coming. 
and third only the HP. So the step by step you go, we may not miss the uh, diagnosis. But I think in this case was very unfortunate that uh, she had gone for paralysis, uh, neurological paralysis. So before that, if we had intervened, decompressed, I think she would have uh, given her the water. So no longer previously in TB hospitals used to make them immobilize and uh, sit, but with the ortho surgeons now taking up uh, cases, more improvement in the spinal surgery. I think every case is now being sent without a tissue diagnosis. We are not starting at how do the follow-up, sir? Uh, I am ready to follow-up, sir. Immediate follow-up, there is no problem. There is no problem. But still, I think you can keep the hopes alive. It's, a, it's a really, a, in the current data, sir, it's not the pressure of the abscess which is causing on, on the, on the uh, spinal cord. It's actually the vasculitis. The blood supply to the, it is cut off. The vasculitis is the cause of the current data, not, not the uh, anatomical cause. So, even though it, Surgery has been done all right, but the, the problem for I think it's at the vascular level. I agree, sir. Because that's why so still we can, that can be treated with the medicine is still a very safe treatment. So it's not the uh, physical uh, pressure of the vascular. Should we come and talk about the results? We wait for at least six months. You have yeah. such a compression, you have to decompression, you wait for almost six months. Correct. Minimum to for, uh, for it. So it's just three.